Hi, this is Robin Schneider with Adobe for Fashion. Today we are going to do how to draw a basic tank top in Illustrator. So the first thing you need to do always when you're drawing a flat in Illustrator is to place a template because we need to keep everything consistent and in the correct proportions. And now we can open our tools and start drawing. The tools we're going to need are the pen tools, so I'm going to go ahead and bring them over here so they're easy to access. We're also going to be using the black arrow, which is the selection tool, and the white arrow, which is called the direct selection tool. And I'm going to tear this off as well and bring it over here so I can access it a little bit easier. We're going to start with the pen tool. And I like to click my first click right here where the shoulder kind of meets the neckline. Since it's a tank top, we'll do not a very wide shoulder, just a small bit there. Inside the armhole, under the arm, and then straight down to the hip, it's going to determine the length of your shirt. The next thing we'll need to do is curve the armhole. So we're going to switch to the Convert Anchor Point tool, click on the anchor point in the armhole, and while you're still holding the mouse, drag straight down to give it a little bit of a curve. Now I can switch to the selection tool, that's the black arrow, release, and then reselect what I've drawn, make sure the whole thing is selected, and I'm going to reflect it, which means I'll need to use the reflect tool. So I'm going to go over to my toolbar. The reflect tool is hiding behind the rotate tool. I'm going to tear it off so I can access it over here. So with the selection tool, I'm going to select this half of the shirt that I've just completed. I'm going to click once on reflect, Alt or Option click on the center line, select Vertical, and click Copy. I just made a copy of half the shirt now on the other side. Back to the Selection tool, select both pieces. We're going to connect them. We're going to right click anywhere on the page and select Join. Again, right click on the page and select Join. We've just connected the top neckline and the bottom hem. Let's add a point with the Add a Point tool right at the center neckline. And with your arrow key on the keyboard, you're going to nudge it down a bit. Also add a point at the center of the hemline and nudge it down just a little bit with the arrow key as well. Back to the Convert Anchor Point tool. Click and drag to the right to round the neckline. And click and drag to the left to round the hemline just a bit. And now we have the silhouette shape of a basic tank top. We need to see the back neckline. Unless the neckline is sort of plunging below the front, we would need to see the back. And in order to do that, we're going to use the direct selection tool, the white arrow. We're going to select the one anchor point right here inside the neckline. We want to make sure not to select this point or this point. We're going to copy Control C. And then we're going to paste. Now you might know paste as Control V, but the problem with that is it puts the object you paste in a different location and then you have to try and move it back into place and that causes all kinds of problems. So rather than do that, I'm going to teach you a new command. We're going to copy, control C, and then we're going to paste in front. That would be control or command F. And it pastes the object exactly where it came from. And now I'm going to right click, join, to close the object, add a point just like we did at the neckline and move it down a little bit with my arrow key, convert anchor point tool, click and drag to the left to curve the back of the neckline. And then I'm going to go to my swatches and fill it with a light gray. And now I have a completed tank top. There is one last thing though that always kind of bugs me. See these little sharp points sticking out at the top here? That has to do with the settings in the stroke panel. I'm going to open up my strokes and bring it over here. Notice that the caps are set to this first one here which is called a butt cap and the corners are set to a miter join. If we select everything and change it to a round cap and a round join, it will immediately smooth out these sort of spiky little things and give us a much nicer finish. And there you have it, your first tank top. We'll do another tutorial later with sleeves and a back view, but for now, there's your basic tank top. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Come back again to watch other tutorials from Adobe for Fashion.